った。Significa tanto que esteja aqui comigo, viu? É, é. Pero vocês já se conheciam? Sim, sim, de chicos. Esteros is a drama slash romance movie that came out on November 18 of 2016. It tells the story of Matias and Jerónimo, going back to their childhood memories and their present life. We meet Matias and Jerónimo as teenagers starting to discover their sexualities. The story jumps to their adult lives where their characters are faced with emotions toward each other that will drive them away from reality and into their love. Esteros is not your average gay movie which sometimes only contain teenagers or adults having trouble coming out. Esteros tells us the story of separation, regrets and love with a little bit of frustration and anger. While watching this movie, I found myself torn between loving these two guys and hating them for not kissing enough throughout the movie. The story is great, the characters are lovable, and the scenery is breathtaking. Estetos will surely have you wondering why things are the way they are, and why things were the way they were. As we accompany Matias and Jerónimo through the emotional roller coaster of memories in Estetos. <laughs> Those People is a dramatic representation of love and the difficulties we face through tough decisions. The story follows Charlie, a young painter whose greatest decision comes when he is forced to choose between a relationship with his longtime friend Charlie and a new romance with a concert pianist. What I loved about those people is that it shows us something different from what we are used to. The story is not cliché and the characters are well designed. It is a movie that makes you wonder what you would do. Would you choose the easy way out with the guy that seems to have a bright future? A guy that is lovable and charming? A guy that treats you like you deserve? Or would you choose who you truly love? Even if it means going through more difficulties than you have ever faced before. Being 17 came out on March 30th of 2016 in France. I have to admit that this is one of my all-time favorite gay movies. We meet Damien, a teenager who lives with his mother and whose father is a military pilot who spends his time on missions abroad. While in high school, Damien is bullied by a guy named Thomas, whom he will come to love and hate. Their relationship takes an unexpected turn when Thomas's mother gets pregnant and is hospitalized. Thomas is invited to stay in Damien's house, where the flame of love will either make or break their relationship. Undoubtedly, this is a movie that must be seen in order to comprehend how tough life can be when adversity forces us to come together, forgetting who's watching us and living in the safety that love provides. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell's going on? I'm hurt, man. Adam's gay. There's nothing wrong with him. The same guy, right? This is all your fault. No, it's fine, guys. I'll take the fall on this one. He, uh, it's, I'm too good looking. Fourth Man Out is a comedy slash drama film released in February 2016. It tells the story of Adam, a mechanic who is having trouble deciding how to come out to his three straight friends. If you're looking for a good comedy film that contains material for both the straight and gay world, then this is the film for you. It's entertaining, adorable at times, and fun. If you're like me and uh, you're a crybaby, then this movie will have you laughing and crying at the same time. 
Most importantly, this movie shows us that being ourselves is the key to finding true friendship. And amidst all hardships, love and support will find its way through our lives if we only let our fear go. And there's always, you know, Grinder too. That's only if you want to try to butt sex like five minutes from now. How do you know what Grinder is? How do you know what Grinder is? Sobe. E você? Não se preocupa com isso? Com o quê? Ué, vai passar a vida inteira sem beijar ninguém, lá. Né? Giovana. Ai, é verdade, né? Quem é que vai querer me beijar? Aqui é o 211? É, aqui sim. Como é que se chama? Gabriel. I remember seeing the way he looks for the first time as a short on YouTube. Some time went by before it was announced that it would become a movie. I was thrilled about this because I had loved the short film. And when it finally came out on Netflix, I was not let down. The way he looks tells the story of a blind guy who struggles in school due to his disability. More than being bullied though, his struggle comes from within himself, as he finds himself frustrated for not being able to do what others can. His life is changed, however, when a new student named Gabriel arrives at his school. His life will never be the same, as his relationship with his best friend Giovanna will take a surprising turn. His love will blossom and his look on life, um, <clears throat> no pun intended, will be revolutionized by Gabriel. Bem mais animado que bar, né, Leonardo? <laughs> Vem dançar, Léo. Eu não, não sei dançar. Como não? Nossa, seus dedinhos dançando aí. Mas eu não sei dançar. Léo, tem gente que dança bem, tem gente que dança mal. This is a film that shows us how much our lives are affected by people that we let into it. We sometimes feel alone, angry, sad. We think that loneliness is better than judgment, so we spend our days looking at life as if it was against us. But then one day, someone comes. Someone who will show you the way that they see life. Someone who will show us a new perspective, a new beginning. And suddenly we're not alone anymore. And the way we look at life just changes. Can someone just say something, please? So, um, you really like the c**k, huh?